हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स डिवीजन इज समथिंग यू नो विच द स्टूडेंट्स आर फील स्केयर्ड अबाउट एंड स्पेशली व्हेन यू हैव टू डिवाइड बिग नंबर्स बाय अनदर बिग नंबर मे बी अ टू डिजिट नंबर और अ थ्री डिजिट नंबर द डिवाइजर्स व्हिच आर अबव से 20 यू नो दे आर ऑलवेज स्केरी बिकॉज वी डोंट नो द Uh, maybe 47 times table or maybe 91 times table so it's always difficult to carry out those divisions so i am trying to simplify division for you by putting forth the method of partial quotients if you know this method of partial quotients the division process is going to become little bit easy for us so i'll demonstrate it using some examples and then try take 10 12 questions and you will surely feel comfortable with division right so you got to watch the entire video and then practice okay and if you have not clicked the subscribe button uh, till now please do it now and uh, along with that you can click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of future uploads on this amazing channel so let's get going friends and understand how big divisions can be simplified using this amazing partial quotient method I'll take the first example wherein I am going to do two one zero eight nine divided by say twenty six. So we don't know twenty six times table, right? So I'm going to simplify this and I'm going to show you how this method works to find the remainder and the quotient. Okay. So the first step. See, I'm going to write the quotient here and then. I'll be subtracting something from this dividend two one zero eight nine. See, I don't know twenty six times table, but I know that twenty six when multiplied by five, it gives me one thirty, right? So I have to be in my comfort zone, okay? So if I don't do even twenty six into five, I can do twenty six into two, no problem, fifty two, right? So whatever suits you, you have to do that. For me, twenty six into five is very easy because. Twenty six into ten is two sixty. Half of that is one thirty. So this is easy for me. So I do twenty six into five. So what is the benefit of doing twenty six into five? I will get a one hundred and thirty eight. And if I put two zeros here, then the quotient will be what? Since this got me a five, two zeros makes it five hundred. So twenty six into five hundred is actually thirteen thousand. So just subtract this, you get nine eight zero and eight eight zero eight nine. Now here we have eighty. So twenty six into two is fifty two, right? And two twenty six into two is fifty two and two zeros. So two zeros here. Twenty six into two hundred is this number. So I'll subtract again nine. Eight and eighty minus fifty-two is twenty-eight, right? Now twenty-six. Here we have twenty-eight. So twenty-six. I'll write twenty-six followed by two zeros. So one followed by two zeros. Twenty-six into hundred is twenty-six hundred. So if I subtract, I will get nine, eight, and twenty-eight minus twenty-six is two. Two eighty-nine. Another question. So twenty-six again. So twenty-six and a zero. Uh, so twenty six and a zero two sixty and what do I get here? I'll have to write because twenty six is my uh, divisor and I'm writing a twenty six here. So ten twenty six ten times is two sixty. Subtract nine two twenty nine and uh, finally one times is twenty six. So I get a three. So the remainder happens to be three. And what is the quotient? The final quotient will be just add these partial quotients: five hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, eight ten, eight eleven. Eight hundred and eleven is the quotient. See, the method might look little lengthy to you, but it is easy. You know, when you have easy steps, they don't consume time. And how they are easy? Because we are working according to our convenience we are not finding a multiple of 26 which gets me closest to 210 no i wanted that i should be in my comfort zone so i did 26 into 5 which is easier for me so i got 
close to 210 but not close enough it doesn't matter the closer you get to 200 uh, towards 210 the number of steps also reduce so it all depends on your mastery you know how quickly you are able to find that number which gets you closest to this if it doesn't work then you can do 26 into 1 only still you will get the correct answer i'll show you one more see suppose you have a number like 6 4 4 5 3 and i need to divide this by 47 now 47 oh that's a big number so if i write 47 only here so i am doing one times right and three zeros so i'll do thousand times so 47 into thousand is 47 thousand let's get rid of this much this is 453 and this is what 70 so 17453 so i got the first partial quotient which is thousand now 47 uh, maybe i'll go for 47 uh, 100 so that is 100 times right so if i subtract now see these, these are partial quotients okay so i get 3 5 and then this is 7 and then this is 2 right and i get a 1 1 2 7 5 3 uh, 47 into 2 is 94 so 94 100 so 200 right so when i subtract this now i will get 3 and then 5 and then 3 and then we have 12 minus 9 which is 3 so i'm doing it by 47 mind you so let's do 47 into 5 that's easy for me uh, half of 470 which is 235 right so i want to get close to this 235 and a 0 so 5 times right so 5 and a 0 this is the next partial question and how much this gives me 3 0 0 1 1 0 0 3 see i'm slowly getting to a stage where i can reduce the number so 47 times 2 is 94 followed by a 0 so 2 followed by a 0 this gives me 63 and 47 1 times is 47 so that gives me 16 as the remainder now this is the final remainder and what will be the quotient the quotient will be 1000 1300 1371 1371 so you can che check using the calculator 17 uh, 1371 is the quotient and the remainder is 16 little bit of practice required i know but as you practice the question the number of steps are going to reduce i took uh, like so many steps in solving it because I, I wanted to explain it to you but i will not be doing maybe 47 into 1000 i may be doing 47 into 1500 if you feel more comfortable so the number of uh, the more closer you get to this number the lesser the number of steps are okay so this is called the partial quotient method of division I'm sure you're going to crack all the questions of division. Practice 20, 30 such questions and let me know in the comments here. Did it benefit you? All the best.